Here we go. Snacks. Anyone? Okay, I'll just set them down here for later in case anyone gets hungry. Well, now, before we get started, I just want to say how much I appreciate the both of you for allowing me to be the arbiter of your marital dispute. All our friends care about you and are hoping that you can get through these problems. As for me, I strive to be uh, even-handed and non-judgmental, so I am confident that I will be able to help settle whatever small misunderstanding that you are experiencing. So, now, what is the main issue? She's gaslighting me. I am not. He's projecting. <laughs> Okay, I can see I have my work cut out for me here. Hmm. Okay, so let's start with whatever event caused this impasse. This is a waste of time. You agreed to it. To get you off my back. Uh, see what I have to deal with? Uh, okay, let's calm down. You're both here now, so let's all of us work together to try to get to the bottom of this. Barbara, why don't you tell your side first? <laughs> Not fair. Will you let me speak? Keith, when Barbara is done, you'll have a chance to tell your side. Okay. Barbara, you were saying? I'll start at the beginning. When Keith and I first met, we didn't have much, except for a small studio apartment a car that barely ran, and our love for each other. Mm -hmm. During those lean years, he was always looking for ways to make some extra, much-needed money. And at first, it was odd jobs, and I admired his dedication to being a provider, especially after the kids were born. But as the years went on and our financial situation improved, he didn't give up on his money-making projects. Well, that doesn't sound bad. But he went from actual work to get-rich-quick schemes. Mm -hmm. He followed every one that came down the pike, no matter how ludicrous they sounded. Needless to say, none of them have shown any real success. Not true. Still my turn to speak. Wait. You'll get your turn. So as I was saying, these pursuits have not only been fruitless, but they've been so all-consuming that we don't do the things together that we used to do. Okay. That was well expressed. Now, what do you want to say, Keith? Plenty. First of all, thank you for finally admitting that everything I do has been for family. <laughs> but they're not schemes. <laughs> they're investment opportunities. <laughs> and secondly, I know I don't always tell you what I've been up to, but it's because I don't want to bother you with the minutia. It's tedious. And thirdly, uh, making money is overrated. It's about the thrill of the pursuit. Okay. Those are all valid points. <laughs> How are they valid? I've been calling them schemes because that's how they appear to me. And saying that I'm not interested in the minutia of what you're working on implies that I'm a dumb, shallow, female airhead. I didn't say you were dumb. <gasps> all I was saying is that Keith has a right to his feelings. In his mind, he believes he is doing the right thing by being a better provider. That's what I keep saying. That's what you used to say. Now you're silent about what you're working on. And uh, the whole point of a get-rich-quick scheme is to, hmm, get rich. It's not about the thrill of the pursuit. It can be both. Whatever it is, it has gotten out of hand. Do you agree with that, Keith? No. That's an exaggeration, okay? I do other things. Like what? Like, you, you know, <laughs> stop! <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's not get off track here. Let's hear each other out uh, instead of accusing each other. Uh, what, it, what it sounds like is that Keith is now doing something on his own that the two of you used to do together. Am I right? Yes. I suppose. Which means that at some point you diverged from each other. So it seems to me in order to get to this point, 
we must go back to where it first became apparent. Well, I'm not the one who diverged. Now, Barbara, let's act civilly. Uh, certainly we can discuss this maturely. Yeah, maturely. Now, let's both be civil. Barbara, you were saying something. Yeah. I think the split started around the time we were doing better economically, but Keith kept going with his side hustles, even though they weren't necessary anymore. You can't be too careful in this modern economy. Well, Keith does have a point there. <laughs> That's when he went from honest work to get-rich-quick schemes. Not schemes! I'm just, you know, trying to make money that doesn't wear me down physically. They're schemes. I'm working smart instead of hard. This feels like the point of diversion. Barbara, what were these ways of making money that you found objectionable? Well, the first one that set off alarm bells was his selling knockoff merchandise with mm. fake designer labels. And uh, that was an inside joke. It's still counterfeit product. I only sold it to friends. In bulk, so they can sell them to other people. Shows I'm a smart businessman. It's a Ponzi scheme. <gasps> Ooh, let's calm down here. Now, Barbara, why was this particular incident a turning point? Was it because you found it uh, dishonest? No, because he did it without asking for my input. But certainly, the appearance of deception was also bothering you as well. Mm, not particularly. Oh. oh, I thought from the way you were describing your objections that that, that was the reason. Pfft. Someone wants to throw their money away and get fleeced? That's their problem. I just want to be included in the conversation. Oh, was it expecting that? But we'll go with it. So, uh, for you, it was all about the partnership. Exactly. We used to do everything together. Now he goes it alone without making me a part of it. Okay, I, I see. So, Keith, why didn't you make Barbara a part of that plan? Well, like I said, I, I didn't want to bother her. When was I ever bothered by your ideas? Good question. For it appears Barbara is not bothered by your chicanery. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not judgmental. At least someone isn't. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll, I'll rephrase. Um, what made this plan so different that you didn't want it to be a bother? Yeah, what were you hiding? Nothing. Then why exclude me? Now let Keith explain himself. You say it was the knockoff merchandise. I say it was an inside joke amongst friends who were just trying to show off, and them selling to other friends was just our way of spreading the fun. And, well, I know that, uh, you know, it's been a lot easier since we first got together, even with the kids showing up, but uh, I was having such a good time, I didn't want to give it up. But didn't you see the potential risks? I think that's what made it fun. Is that... Why you found it enjoyable? Yeah. Why was it more enjoyable than your family? Now, don't attack Keith. See what I have to deal with? Okay. You both have established that you have to deal with each other. <laughs> what I am gathering, though, is that the point of contention is not moral turpitude, as I first supposed, <laughs> but rather lack of communication over money-making ventures and that led to the rift in your relationship. Well, I've been trying to communicate. Oh, so it's all my fault. It wouldn't be if you would just talk to me once in a while. Now let's not point fingers at each other. I sense we've come to the crux of the disagreement, which now requires understanding, which is a part of effective communication. Keith. You need to sympathize with Barbara and her concerns about you splitting away from the family. And, and Barbara, you need to understand why Keith 
wanted to do something on his own. Okay, well, I just want you to know, I, I never had any intention of leaving you or the kids. I, I was just trying to hold on to something that brought me joy. Why didn't you say something? <laughs> it didn't happen all at once. I kept doing it at first because it was the right thing to do, or so I thought. And then, you know, I got that promotion and the raise and our burdens lightened. Uh, we even had that celebration. I remember. And you said I, I wouldn't have to struggle anymore to make ends meet. And we could just enjoy our lives together. Well, at first I tried to make that work, but I missed the thrill of the pursuit, the chase for new riches. And I just, I couldn't put it down. You could have told me that. I wasn't sure you'd accept it, so I kept it to myself. So that's where it all began. I tried to keep it a secret, but uh, I guess it was just a matter of time till you found out. I had a feeling. More progress. This is good. I, I guess I can admit that some of my ideas were ridiculous. <laughs> yeah? Like the Velcro toupees? You knew about those? overheard you talking about it. Yeah, I guess I didn't do a really good job of making it a secret. <laughs> well, maybe subconsciously you wanted me to know. You know, in the beginning I thought it was a good idea. Maybe I wanted to get caught. I sensed that you were in conflict with yourself, but I just didn't want to doubt you. I think that's what I needed. Skepticism can be a healthy thing. Oh, I, uh, Forgot you were here. <laughs> yes, that happens, but I'm beginning to sense a reconnection here. Yeah, we were caught up in something. Okay, but you know, surely not all my ideas were ridiculous. Uh, the ones I knew about didn't seem very sound. Such as? The do-it-yourself colonoscopy kit. <laughs> What's wrong with doing things yourself? Nothing, but some things should be left to trained medical professionals. Good point. So, um, there must have been, like, one idea that was actually a good plan. Like the home alarm system that works by releasing a swarm of hornets? Well, when said aloud, it does sound pretty preposterous. And dangerous, which is why you need my input. <gasps> this feels like a real breakthrough. I just wanted my own sandbox for me to, to play in. All I wanted was to join you in that sandbox. Maybe we could get a real sandbox, you know, for us. <laughs> yeah, just like Brian Wilson. <laughs> well, an actual sandbox probably isn't necessary. All you really need is honest communication. Can I be honest? Mm -hmm. I knew that most of my schemes were crackpot. I knew it too, but I didn't know that you knew, so I didn't say anything. Well, I knew it too, and I didn't say anything because I didn't know that you knew that I knew too. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Yeah. It most certainly does, <laughs> in some way. But there's still the matter of all the clutter in the garage that's accumulated over the years from all of those schemes. What about it? Ready to let it all go? Can I take one last look? Of course. One last trip down memory lane? Yes, that's one reason. Find a few things to sell, make a few extra bucks. There's that too. <laughs> we could do it together. At long last. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Oh, and I, I, I have to say, I am so proud of the both of you. Just a few minutes ago, you weren't even speaking to each other, and now, and now you're bursting through the wall that's separating you two. You know, um, there is one thing you might like. Oh? What's that? Kama Sutra coloring books. <laughs> oh, really? Just telling you about it's giving me some ideas. Mm, do tell. <laughs> wow, the breakthroughs just keep happening, but... 
I am starting to think that my work is done here. So if the two of you just want to head on out of here. I'd rather show you. I can't wait. Seriously, <laughs> if you'd like to leave, I, I won't be offended. <laughs> we should take our time going through all that stuff. Mm, I'm in no hurry. <laughs> I'll clear my calendar. I'll cancel my appointment. <laughs> yes, uh, you two go home and work on that. I'm sorry I said that you were gaslighting me. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> I just wanted to sound impressive. <laughs> you don't have to use big trendy words to impress me. <laughs> Feels so good letting it all out. All you had to do was open up. I'm leaving those old ways behind. And we'll be partners again. Oh, look at the time. I really need to get to the store. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Couldn't have done it without you. Great. So uh, uh, why don't you both go on home and rekindle your feelings for each other? I don't think I can wait that long. Me neither. Let's not have any more misunderstandings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Folks, would you like to take this someplace more private? He's right. We'd like to have a moment alone, please? Yes, uh, a long moment. Uh, uh, I don't think this is the time and place. Didn't you just say something about having to go to the store? This is my home. Good. Then you won't have a trouble finding your way back when we're done here. <laughs> I, I only agreed to be referee for your dispute, not, not, not host of, of this. You volunteered your help. We didn't ask. And things have clearly escalated. Hey. When was the last time we role-played? Ooh, too long. Uh, uh, how about we try um, teacher and uh, unruly Ooh. students? How about preacher and nymphomaniac? Mm. Oh, 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 how about uh, interrogation room mischief? Ooh, splendid. Do you happen to have a ceiling harness? Oh. Uh, no, I, I don't have anything like that. Uh, how about peanut oil? Or Ooh. could you pick some up? Oh, look, uh, I didn't generously offer to help you with your problems in order to get kicked out of my own house. That's what happens when you don't mind your own business. Yeah, so stop gawking at us like a pervert and get out of here. <laughs> I can't believe this. Believe it. And when you're gone, you better give us an hour. Mm, make it two. <laughs> it just doesn't pay to get involved. Hey, don't you have some shopping to do? Oh, well, I guess I'll be on my way. <laughs> Try not to damage anything. Mm, no promises. <laughs> I figured. Well, I guess I won't be seeing the two of you later. 